Welcome to AlgebraClass.com. This lesson is on solving one-step subtraction equations. Example number two on the website is y minus three equals negative five. In order to solve this equation, I need to make sure that I get the variable y by itself. So in order to do that, I need to get rid of the minus three. Therefore, I'm gonna start by writing the left-hand side of the equation, y minus three, but I'm gonna leave a blank so that I can use the opposite operation to get rid of the minus three. On the right hand side we have equals negative five and I'm going to leave another blank because whatever I do to one side of the equation I have to make sure I do to the other side of the equation in order to keep the equation balanced. Now I need to think of how am I going to get y by itself. I know that if I use opposite operations I can get the variable by itself. The opposite of minus three is to add three. So I'm going to add three to both sides of the equation. And this works because I know that if I take negative three plus three, I end up with zero. Therefore, I am only left with y on the left-hand side. So I have y equals, and now I need to compute negative five plus three which is negative two. So I end up with an answer of y equals negative two. Now it's very important to check your answers as you solve these equations to make sure that your answer is correct. So in order to do that, we're gonna take the original equation that we were given, y minus three equals negative five, and I'm gonna substitute negative two for the y variable. So I have negative two minus three equals negative five. Now I know that when I'm subtracting integers, I can add the opposite or use the keep change change rule, where I keep the negative two, change the subtraction to addition, change the sign of the second term, so negative three. So we have negative two plus negative three is negative five. And since negative five is equal to negative five and the two sides are equal, I know that my answer of y equals negative two is also correct.